Well, good morning, LP community. Uh, this is Steve Robleski, Superintendent of LaSalle Prue Township High School. Uh, this is almost a bittersweet message that I'm sharing with you in that this will be the, the final LP renovation sneak peek video that Mr. Baker and I are putting together. And what will be uniquely different with this one, as you can see, I'm, I'm holding the hard hat in my hand as opposed to having it on top of my head. Um, as many of you are, are aware, we have reached substantial completion with the project. Uh, we are now just working on the, the final list of uh, punch list items. And I can't begin just to say how appreciative that I am representing the Board of Education, our staff, and our kids um, on the support that we have received from the community to be able to uh, provide an amazing renovated new facility for, for our kids and our, our teachers. These last couple of months of the school year have just been absolutely remarkable for us. Um, on those dog day, uh, hot days uh, we had in September when it was 95 degrees and higher outside and it was a, 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 a cool 72 degrees in the building. These were all new experiences for many of us who have a, a history here at LP High School. And right now the uh, heat is on and it is, uh, it's a nice heat. We don't have these horrible inconsistencies across the building and it has made such a difference in our kids' ability to focus and our teachers' ability to, to deliver quality products to them. So for this final video, uh, instead of you hearing me doing uh, all the talking, we're gonna do this one a little differently. We're gonna uh, provide some insights from uh, some of our teachers as well as some of our students to share some of their reflections um, on the impact of the renovation and we're going to be doing some before and after pictures so you can really get the, the, the full sense of what it was before and what it turned into as a result of the renovation. So enjoy our last sneak peek video and I will see you at the end. Many of our students are coming from feeder schools from eighth grade um, with very modern amenities and when they came to LP High School we kind of took a step back in time in regards to um, the facilities, the technology, although we tried really hard to keep up to date um, it just didn't compare and so sometimes looking at what the kids came from to here uh, being that we are the heart of the community uh, it was important to step up everything. Two years ago before uh, the renovation started uh, the school was kind of, it, it was old. I would, uh, I would take, okay, so I would take visits up to, uh, I would see schools up in the suburbs and just see how, like, nice they are, you know, the uh, wealthy communities and see schools with new equipment and new uh, classrooms. And then I come to our school and it kind of almost deteriorates my, uh, my pride almost a little bit in our school when, when I would look at that um, school two years ago. Some of the notable changes that I've, uh, seen over the last year and a half because I teach social studies first of all was seeing the building being stripped down uh, and some of the old components uh, exposed um, going back in history being down here we were able to see the old brick from the um, 1927 part of the building to the 1935 uh, addition to the building, uh, being able to see how the brick was laid differently. That was neat to see that exposed. We are the Life Skills Programs teachers, so um, I teach what we call the Goals Program, which is a program for people with intellectual disabilities. Um, so, you know, we kind of do similar things. Mm -hmm. We work on basic life skills. I would say that it, it the students just really take pride in, you know, being in a nice new facility. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, they're excited. Yeah, it's definitely like a positive learning environment. Um, just them walking in and seeing the new classrooms and You've the new apartment it. and everything. I mean, it was just amazing how they were, like, just their excitement about everything. So, especially in the apartment, now they actually have everything they need to cook and there's more space and it's just more of a like homey feel I guess so they can actually feel like when they're at home yeah. they can take what they learned here and go back at home and do that there. It's easier to transfer their skills when mm -hmm. they're in an environment that supports them doing what they would do at home. You can open up the windows. It's not hot in here. No. Uh, you can cook. And actually you can actually cook in here and there's like you don't have to like wait. You can actually use the stuff, then mm -hmm. wait. 
why well, it's not broken. It's like way better than the old classrooms. We like the air in there. We got uh, the microwave. We like the we like the new uh, chairs with the wheels on them. They like the flexibility of the furniture also because um, we can move it to make it work for the class period. Uh, for example, for yesterday's activity, we just needed more room, so we quickly moved tables uh, to places where we normally don't have them, but it was quick and easy to adjust our room uh, to make it work for the lesson, for the activity. Um, I think the students also enjoy the space. They feel like they have a little more space uh, in their area that they're working at, uh, whether it's an individual table or even the shared tables. I think comfortability is a lot is a big factor in a student's education because like uh, you need that time to be able to just kind of do what you want but in little ways so if you need to swivel around adjust your whatever to pay attention and do something you got that option now with the movable chairs you I don't know, it's just relaxing um, as far as academics um, Definitely, the teaching wall is fantastic. Um, having wall-to-wall, -wall, floor to ceiling, uh, areas to present, to share information with the students. Um, the students, of course, enjoy using the teaching wall uh, for their work, for their presentations, to share with uh, their classmates, with the students um, in the room. Uh, I know, like, band, for example, a whole new room. It's a lot easier, nicer to learn. Uh, it's a way better sound environment for a uh, band in particular. Yeah, I feel that I've noticed such a big improvement in like students being excited to be here. Mm -hmm. You know, like the first day when they all were coming in, like I was in the hallway a few times and I like overheard so many conversations of like, oh my gosh, it looks so nice in here. Mm -hmm. Students are just excited to be here because right. of how nice it looks and they really take pride in that. Yeah, it's just a better learning environment. I mean, just even like the colors on the walls and everything, I mm -hmm. feel like it's just more like happy and upbeat and there's so many things like the wall that they can write on and mm -hmm. they have the whiteboards at their desks and there's just so many more opportunities for them to do like student-led activities. I hope you enjoyed listening to our staff and our students be able to share their reflections on the impact of the renovation. I know I speak on behalf of the Board of Education as well as the st staff and the student body when I say thank you for granting this as opportunity to be able to transform our historic building into a modern learning environment. I know for me that has been the most rewarding experience of this whole process is to be able to take this building that I love so very much, to be able to maintain it, but yet to transform the insides of it that's going to last another 50 years uh, in giving our staff and our kids a magnificent uh, environment in which to work as well as to learn. So. As I sign off here uh, for our final uh, LPHS renovation video, I want to say once again, thank you, and we so appreciate all the support of the community. Thank you.